Oh yeah. Hey guys, it's Uber here, and today I'm gonna be doing part two of my Doki Doki Literature Club um, series or gameplay rather. Now, in the last video, we got introduced to the whole literature club, and but now we're gonna start getting more into the game. And I apologize if my last video I was extremely tired in the last video, and I wasn't talking or reading that that fast so I'm a little bit more energetic today got my water and let me just check if I have everything set yes I do so let's go with it hint you can skip the you can use the skip button to fast forward through text when you've already read all right okay so we're at this part where we're just getting into whatever the hell we're just doing, so let's keep on going. I'm glad. You glad what? Your family smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Um, so, what made you consider the literature club? Um, <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I named my guy Kirito. That's a kind of fun. You know what? I gotta. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to lower this music. All the way down. Well, I kind of wanted to add in my own music, BGM, I guess. Uh, you know what? Since I'm a little bit more forgiving, I'll leave it only for this one episode. Cause I really want to put in my own music. Cause why the hell not? So. Oh shit, no, no, turn. I was about to hit load. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri s r seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As preacher of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everybody. Or everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How'd you dis- how come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. True. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. So, I feel you. Actually, no, I don't feel it because I'm not into that kind of stuff in school. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather take something I personally, I'd r much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling the, that dream. Monica's a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there are more people in the club yet. Hey man, many people don't read these days, so that sucks. But at least you joined. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard and to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it, it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everybody? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Okay, everyone. If it's a quick, <laughs> I can't read today. Okay, everybody agrees happily, okay? I can't read today, I'm sorry. So, such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Okay, that's the word, enthusiasm. I was just brain dead for a little bit. 
so curious. <laughs> so curious. So what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, you know, manga, freaking white novels. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Why am I not surprised? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh, so she's a manga enthusiast. Is she? She likes manga. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh, don't be shy. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Aw, uh, she just likes regular... Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of the teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, querying passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eye, her eyes light up that she finds her that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own life? Um, imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I just really grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a consideration or conversation with a rock. I said consideration for some reason. Con Really, I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, yeah, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. <sighs> I hate horror. I. Personally, for me, I like horror because it's scary, and you know, you get that thrill. But sometimes horror can be a little bit too much. That's how. That's just how I feel. I mean, I'm up there with horror. I just to let you guys know, I watched the whole Jaws movie and the sequel. Okay, enough of this awkward silence. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... She's a scaredy cat. Natsuki's eyes died over to me for a split second. Or she just likes manga instead of horror movies. Books, as well. Horror novels and horror movies, as well. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. That's the case. Oh, we got some Yuri. We got some Yuri going on in this. Yuri, <laughs> Sayuri settles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? You, no! Natsuki averts her eyes. Oh, so now I confirm. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Why did I just pause? The 
truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have, a do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ah, uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Wow. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monko. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, it will. I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kirito? <laughs> Monica sw smiles warm warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've only come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! That's right, I want to join the anime club. But I couldn't do that because... Freaking Sayuri drag me over here. Sir may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I still want to go to the anime club, and I want to fulfill my dreams of becoming a YouTuber with freaking a million like subscribers. Not a million likes. I lose my train of thought. Oh, everybody looks displeased. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. You shouldn't have done that, dude. Kirito. Uh, <laughs> smart choice. Smart choice for a name. But... I, I'm sorry, I thought... Kirito? Y you all... I'm, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls- Oh, come on, Baron. Right. Okay, I've decided- You know that. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. I have to give up everything about anime. One by one, the girls- Fuck, what was that? One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayuri <laughs> wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Oh, damn, I was about to get beating. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Kirito, I look forward to seeing you how I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star of Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I've already filled the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Curious, so since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sorry, and I never walked home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and, Mon and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to 
to one of these girls. Alright! I just need to make the most out of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh boy. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Me. Vivid, sunset, greed, analysis, puppy, skipping, portrait, bubbles, marshmallow. What the hell? Alright. So I just gotta pick. How many words can I pick? Did I miss it or. Okay. Sunset. Unending, fickle, shiny, excitement, judgment, tears, star state, clear, and computer. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. I had a little bit of an interruptment. So, fireflies, unending, fickle, shiny, excitement, judgment, tears, star starscape, clear, and incongruent. Okay. Fickle. I'm in a fickle today. Yeah, I guess we can say prayer. Management incapable, incredible, disown, damn disown, sweet, wonderful, frightening, peaceful, heaven sent, intellectual. Okay, so I picked. Oh shit. 20? Oh, so we're just picking words one by one. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go with. Incapable. Ooh, secret move. I like that. Headphones nimble, alone, nature, nature. Might as well. Unstrained, calm, joy, ambient, skirt, email, infusion, anime, vanilla, death. Ambient. Essence, blanket, mouse, summer. Ooh, tenacious. Care, hope, bliss, despise. Color. Love, love. Landscape. Landscape. Candy. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick candy. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, I'm just gonna start picking random words. Is that how this works? Okay. I'm just gonna start picking random words. Clouds. Parfait. Massacre. Okay, I don't know. Adventure. Defeat, clumsy, uncanny, uncanny. Vacation, scars, sunny. Lollipop, suicide, swimsuit, friends, awesome, funny. Covet, existence, hurt, passion, milk, promise, promise. A tone sparkle, sparkle, I guess. Bounty determination. Oh, I, I didn't know this. Whenever I pick on a random word, one of these three start to. Oh, why isn't Monica there? Why isn't Monica there? Isn't she the club room present? Why is she not there? What? Can I not make a poem for her? I just noticed, every time I pick on a word, let's say, determination, one of these bounds. Misfortune, same boot flower, I guess. Hell, danger. Okay, let's... Okay, so I'm just gonna end it off here because, um, might as well. So, thank you everybody for watching this, I'm gonna make part episode 3 again so yes I'm gonna save it and